So welcome back. Today we're going to take you out here with the TS-12 and we're going to go through a drill here. Uh, in the earlier video that I did, I mentioned uh, the uniqueness of the platform where uh, what separates it from conventional shotguns is the ability to rotate the tube cylinders. So that's what you got to get out here. That's what you got to get ingrained in you subconsciously. So we'll go on out here and then we'll get the, the cylinder spinning up. All right, so for this one, I'm going to be rolling counterclockwise, but shooting left to right. Was a 354 overall. All right, we got an 81 to come up to the first target, a 104 over to the next, an 86, and an 83. All right, so that was going counterclockwise. So spinning counterclockwise, I initiate the release, I start spinning, I take my trigger finger off the release, get it in there, lock it in there, and then bring back my left support hand up into position. So please notice that my support hand does not go in front of the muzzle at any time during this process. It would actually feel really foreign if I was to extend out any further due to the repetitions I've done in dry fire. Let's go ahead and reset it and then we'll go clockwise. So now we're gonna roll clockwise into this and then kind of compare it to see which way feels good. Now keep in mind that some of the times that you experience are gonna be determined by the mechanics of your TS-12. All right, so if it is kind of stiff and laggy, then it'll add time. Hopefully it slickens up over time, and then you can get some of those times shaved down just from the mechanics alone. Right, so let's roll through here clockwise. Going clockwise, I will initiate the release. I will break my grip in order to get some purchase on the tube and then start the rotation back in place and then get back into the, the locked position for, to uh, be ready to fire the next round. So sometimes you'll find yourself over rotate and the alignment will be off so it doesn't feed into the chamber from the tube. But usually your support hand reacquiring the firing position will usually lock it back up in there and you'll, you'll feel it. So that was a 353 total, uh, 96 up, 88, 85, and 84. It's pretty consistent. And actually, so that's 353. What was the last one here? A 354. All right, <laughs> so there you go. That's pretty darn close. So that one going clockwise was 353 and the one going counterclockwise was 354. So as you can see, we were pretty consistent with our results today from tube to tube to tube, both counterclockwise and clockwise. So uh, in your own training, get out there, 
uh, dry fire, dry fire, dry fire, then get out here and test the results, put it on a timer and see how well you're progressing. So join us next time. We'll have another little training tip and you can get out there and put it to use with your TS-12.